that, look at the fraction. It says 3 tenths, which could be read as 3 over 10, or mathematically 3 tenths. This would translate into 0 0.3. Why? In the decimal 0 0.3, 3 is in the tenths place. Therefore, the decimal would be read as 3 tenths. Another way to look at this fraction 3 tenths is as a division expression. 3 tenths says 3 divided by 10. When dividing by 10, the decimal in 3 moves one place to the left. Therefore, 3 divided by 10 equals 3 tenths. It's important to note that each factor of 10 you divide by, you move the decimal one place to the left. For example, 4,210 divided by 100 can be rewritten as 4,210 divided by 10 times 10. Two factors of 10 move the decimal in 4,210 two places to the left. Your answer would be 42 and 10 hundredths. Now we will be converting two-fifths into a decimal. To do that, we could multiply two-fifths by two-halves, an equivalent form of one. Multiplying by two-halves, we are not changing the value of the fraction. We are only changing the terms from fifths to tenths. Therefore, two-fifths times two-halves equals four-tenths. Four-tenths could be looked at as a division problem. To divide by 10 would be 0 0.4 or 4 tenths. Again, the decimal in 4 moves. One place to the left because we are dividing by one factor of 10. This is our third and final fraction we'll be converting into a decimal, 4 25ths. We could multiply 4 25ths by 4 fourths so it becomes 16 hundredths, 16 over 100 says 16 hundredths, which would be 0 0.16. We know a hundredth is a two-digit long decimal. Therefore, 16 hundredths is 0 0.16. This expression could also be looked at as a division problem, 16 divided by 100. When dividing by 100, the decimal in 16 would move to the left. Why? Remember, 100 could be rewritten as 10 times 10. The two factors of 10 move the 0 two places to the left, thus making 16 hundredths 100 times smaller. <laughs>